Hey, hey, how's it going? If you're new here, my name is Jan and I love makeup. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate you. Today's video is basically a review of my previous month's purchases. I like to call it all my thoughts on all I bought because it's super fun and it kind of makes me happy. So anyway, uh, I made a very conscious and concentrated effort not to buy a boatload of makeup in October. I've been trying to be careful and not spend money that, you know, could go towards something a bit more exciting. I know, more exciting than makeups, but uh, we're talking about vacation money. So, you know, been buying less makeup so I can go on vacation. Anyway, um, I purchased three things. Technically, I purchased a couple others, but I haven't had a chance to use and review them yet. So we're just gonna tack them on to November and that should be fine. And we're also going to talk briefly about one from September, August. Okay, so if that wasn't confusing enough, you should stick around. Uh, but let's get into all my thoughts on all I bought. First, I want to talk about the Phoenix Rising Cosmetics Buffy the Vampire Slayer palette. I've done two looks. I put one up on the interwebs already. Um, I'm going to insert photos since there's not a lot to talk about. I thought I could show you pictures um, while we chat. Uh, so I've done two looks with this. One is already up and going and the other one is going to be part of a multiple looks video with this palette. Uh, so having used it twice, I genuinely am enjoying this palette and really wanted to do a multiple looks video because I'm really enjoying the palette. It's easy to use. It's very, very, very nice. Um, super basic. Like, there's no bells and whistles in this palette. It's just a good run of the mill eyeshadow palette with excellent theming. <laughs> so definitely a huge fan so far. I mean, not huge but a fan for sure. The other thing I bought is the About Face, they're called something, paints or something. I'm not sure. These minis came as a three pack. So we've got pink, blue, and green. I used the blue one in combination with a Nomad palette. And I think it was the Fuji Five Lakes. Uh, for a Blue Monday look because the name of this little, oh, Fluid Eye Paint, yep, that's what it is, is called Blue Monday. So obviously that I had to use it for a Blue Monday's video. I haven't used any since then, but I, I do think I can confidently say these are very good. In fact, I have three, another miniature three pack in my cart for Sephora that I might actually pick up. Not just because like they're cute and fun and I like them, but I actually have an idea for one of them. So I think I might do that. Next, let's talk about the Pat McGrath Labs Luminous Legends Mega Eyeshadow Palette. I did four looks with this palette and really, really liked it. I think this palette is excellent. It is really, really easy to use. In fact, it's what I'm wearing today. If you missed this video, it's my Copy Kitty video. Uh, 53, I believe. And I'm using the shimmery purple right here and the end purple over there. And then the dark brown on my lower lash line. That's everything. This palette is so, so, so good for, I don't know, I don't want to say like basic 
in the same way that the Buffy palette is very basic. This is the kind of palette where you can use one or two eyeshadows and it just looks like a lot more, more complicated, more fussy, more eyeshadows. It's just, I mean, if it's just so nice that you can, I don't think you could mess this up. I'm fairly confident I could give this to Herbie and she could do a decent eye look. I mean, she's three, so odds are it wouldn't be on my eyes, but it would be really nice. So yeah, I, I'm really impressed with this palette. I've loved all of the makeup palettes that Pat McGrath has launched for the holiday. It's so good. So good, I used every shade in here and no complaints. It's just so, so good. How many times can I say so good? A lot actually, but yeah, I think this is a fantastic palette. I don't know, like my imagination and my ability doesn't stretch enough that I could do like way far out and funky looks with this. But if you were looking for just a great quality, slap it on, you're done palette. This could definitely be that. I just, I was really impressed with this if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Obviously that leaves us with the Nomad Chicago Speak Easy palette. It's no surprise if you've been here for 30 seconds, you know I am probably the biggest fan of Nomad. I, I say this all the time, I love the brand. Felicia is amazing and kind and thoughtful and I love what the brand does. I just, I'm just a huge, huge fan. I did four looks of this palette. I thought this was fantastic. I really, really like this. And this is another palette where you can just go nuts any way you go, it's going to look good. You can do many, many eyeshadows. You could do just one or two. It's beautiful. And the multi-chromes in this palette are so smooth and lovely and easy to use. Even on my older hooded, wrinkly, textured eyelids, it's amazing. I love this color story with my entire heart. I love it. I think you can do, I mean, if you just go down each column, you've got five looks right there. You can do uh, like a little stamp for like a quad, two mats, two shimmers, any four you choose would be gorgeous. Absolutely stunningly beautiful. The way this palette is set up and the formula, the quality, dude, I'm telling you, it is just so good. And you've got everything. You've got depth, you've got light with the mattes, you've got depth, and you've got light with the multi-chrome. There is absolutely no bad. I was able to use Gin Ricky as my highlight one day. I mean, I just think they did such a fantastic job. And I don't look at the ingredients. I don't know if anything changes from palette to palette, you know, behind the scenes with what they're doing. But I do think every palette just gets better and better and better. And they're so good. The matte formula is one of my favorite formulas because it's super versatile. You can be a beginner and use these and feel comfortable that it's not going to get out of hand on you as you're applying them. But they are also very, very buildable. So you can <laughs> take it up a notch if you want to. And you know, I typically want to, but sometimes I don't. And it's just 
such a fantastic combination of shades and formula and texture and and the brand is amazing they're amazing i cannot wait to see the new one while i'm filming this they are teasing the palette and we've seen several shades but not all of them i'm so excited um i do have a code with nomad i was on the pr list last year so my code still works as far as i know last time i checked i ordered this palette and used my code it's just jam if you want to save 10 percent although they do a really really good uh black friday ish sale so it's best to wait for that but if you can't wait then you know there's codes out there use somebody's it basically it's 10 percent, so like shipping usually so yeah i mean i just i cannot say enough good things about this brand because they are so good like really and truly absolutely fantastic <laughs> okay i should stop uh began girling over nomad oh my gosh if i ever got to meet felicia i, I love the brand i like supporting the brand and yeah, I just think what they're doing is fantastic. And they're good. They're good and they're kind. And what more can you ask for? In this day and age, good and kind. That's all I want. So I hope you like this video. It's kind of rambly and nonsensical because there's just not a lot to talk about. But that is all of my thoughts on all my thoughts in October. I would imagine November is also going to be a bit on the slower side, so <laughs> let's see what that video brings. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you like this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Either way, I appreciate you hanging out with me today. Be good and remember to be kind to you. Bye.